guys, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over a haul that I received today. So it's kind of weird because I was expecting my mail order to come normal time, about like, you know, 10, 11 o'clock, and it didn't come to like 5 o'clock. Um, something had happened to one of my packages. Thank goodness everything was included. Um, one of the things had slipped out of the bag. Um, the mail guy had said it was open, but I double checked my order, everything was there. So part of this is a Planners Anonymous haul. Part of it is a cloth and paper haul. So let's get started. Okay, the first part of this is probably my favorite because this is the Tropicana planner kit. So I did not get the decorative sticker kit for Tropicana in this haul. Um, it is coming in another one that has not shipped yet. So I already opened everything up except for the stamps, which I'm just going to keep right in there. Um, the reason why this is my favorite, anything with hibiscus and anything with flamingos on it, I or even tropical leaves, I absolutely love. So this washi tape is so pretty. I am in love with it, um, especially decorating my planners. I just love decorating my planners with this beautiful tape. And with Planners Anonymous, the same as with um, Simply Gilded, you get a lot of washi tape on these rolls. Okay, so the stamp kit, there's a big camera, there's a beautiful beautiful hibiscus, there's a mini, there's a toucan, um, there's some, okay, so there's two different heads for the flamingo with the body, so that's kind of cool, so you can like piece them together. So I really like that, and then you've got a whole bunch of words with an arrow. Okay, this is the pen, so they are black um, ballpoint, which is weird, and sometimes I find it hard to hold on to these pens, um, but this one's so pretty. I'm not sure if you can see all of the sparkles in this, but it's very sparkly. It's like this micro glitter, beautiful, and the colors are just pretty as well. Um, it is gold hardware. These are the little cards. So it says, find me under the palms, living off sunshine, ocean breeze, mind at ease, barefoot and the beach, relax and refresh, and I followed the sun to new adventures, and then this one here, and then I can't remember, I think this was part of the die cuts, I like these, the big ones here I could see putting in a planner, if I had a tropical planner, these are the ones I would totally put in there, so this one, the hibiscus, this beautiful one, even that tour bus is kind of cute. But these die cuts, so I do want to kind of point out the difference between the older kits and the newer ones. So um, I did get the sticker kit, and you'll see in a minute, I did get some other, um, I didn't get the planner kits for these other sticker kits, but I did get the sticker decorative kit. And you'll see why they're different from the current Planners Anonymous books. Um, currently, there are these beautiful books, which usually have about 12 pages in them. They've got tons of foil. And the stickers that I'll show you in this haul are not the same. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of other die cuts here. There's this art card with a girl. Um, I'm not going to read it because, I mean, it's her name is Lani. And it's it's cute. This is the actual art card, though, so it doesn't have anything. It's like the, just like you could use it as a dashboard for, I think, a personal wide, maybe. It says running on island time. I love this so much. Probably going to go in my planner, not going to lie. And then the bonus item with this kit is this little pouch. So it's kind of like this cream color. I don't want to say it's white. It's not yellow. It's definitely cream. So it's got this felt lining on the inside, and it's very light. Um, I thought it would be a bit more substantial, but it's very light. And uh, if you wanted to put it in your B6 Traveler's Notebook Planner, it would fit perfectly. You just have to put the string right here and then um, close it. And you can keep stickers in there in your planner. Okay, so of course the last thing that we have with this kit is the paper. Okay, I did not get the additional paper pack. I can't remember if it was available, but I didn't get it anyway. Um, so this is the first print and there are always two of each. Okay, and then the back is this beautiful green. The second one is this palm print with the brown. And then the third one is this flamingo flower with hibiscus in it, the pink. 
and then the vellum. This is the vellum. So it's like this beautiful ocean um, view. And then the acetate is gold. It's gold on this side, but silver on that side, but gold on the right side. So that's it for Tropicana until I get the decorative stickers. Okay, moving on to Butterfly Skies. Um, I love this one, and unfortunately, they did not have the decorative sticker kit available, so I just got the planner kit. It has um, this pen. It is blue. It is just blue matte on this part. Again, just black um, ballpoint ink. The washi tapes, um, they do have foil on them, but I feel like it's not like that sparkly. It's not holographic or anything, so I feel like... While well, it is pretty, it's not what I expected it to be, I think. Um, the surprise was this little tiny notebook, and I think it's a journaling notebook, so it has this grid pattern on it. And then it's like a place that can be me, my mixtape, I would love to learn, my go-to movie or show, what I'm craving, moment I'm most proud of, a book I adore, just a thought about me. So kind of like a little journaling book. And then these stickers came with it. So you've got butterfly stickers with all of these words. So this is the art card with the girl, or I guess the thank you. Um, and her name is Renee. And then the stamps. So this is pretty too. I like this. Um, and then you get the week. I think this is the weekly sticker kit, if I'm not mistaken. So these are really tiny. Like I didn't realize how small they were, but they're, they are cute. And then here's the week. You've got one of the planners, like the fold over planners. And it looks like under the stars came right after this kit. This one's really cute. The stickers are quite small though. And then this is the last page. So you only get four, four sticker pages here. And then you get the pretty butterfly. Okay, then these are the little cards. It says, eat, sleep, wake up, beautiful. Beautiful changes happen in the darkest of times. What if you fly? Be bold, be brave, be you. Never hide your true self, and you do you. This was also in there. Um, some of the die cuts here. They're quite cute. You can... Um, also, and one of the things with the die cuts is that these particular die cuts, the same with the Tropicana, they are not, they are not sticker, like sticker paper on the back. So all it is is literally cardstock, but you can glue stuff, like you can glue them onto each other. So I mean, right, you could just glue them in your planner or wherever you want them. But uh, yeah, that's just one thing I noticed. Okay, and then the art card, it says, with brave wings, you will fly. And then the papers. So you have this butterfly one with the pink background that is on gray or maybe black. You've got this one with all the words on it with purple. And then this one with the floral, like the leaves, with green on the back. And then probably my favorite, I love this acetate, it's so pretty. Or sorry, yeah, vellum. I always call, for some reason, I'm calling the acetate vellums and vice versa. This is the vellum, and then this is the acetate. And now this is um, silver hollow foil. And it's beautiful. I love that. Like just on top of each other is so pretty. So that is it for those kits. I did purchase three of the sticker kits separate. Okay. So I got um, So Crafty. I got Vineyard. And then I got Sail and Sea. So we'll go through uh, Vineyard first. So if you guys are familiar with this sticker book, um, let me pull one out. So I have already used quite a few stickers from this kit, but you basically get like, like these books go for $32 and these sticker kits are $25. So there's the price difference. But 
I think you get, is it 16 sheets of these small ones and then 12 sheets of the big ones? And this is the size difference, okay? There we go. Can you see that? So the sticker book, you currently get. These are the new format stickers that Planners Anonymous has in their subscription kits um, and that you have to buy additionally. And then, um, yeah, like if you choose, like when you go to choose your subscription kit, like what you want, um, there's a whole bunch of choices. So you can include the sticker book if you want. But these are the old format for sticker, for the decorative stickers. So this is Vineyard, and I'm just going to walk through here. And then you get two pages of minis at the end. Okay. So that was Vineyard. And then we'll do So Crafty. Oh, and then I forgot to say, so these ones came with the Tropicana. So you do get four sticker sheets with the um, planner kits. I'll show you those. Sorry, they were in the wrong kit here. But they are so cute. Okay. And the last one is Sail and Sea. This is probably my favorite color palette, I think other than Tropicana. And then moving on to my cloth and paper haul. So it came with this little package where I had a few um, sticky notes and my receipt. Okay, so these are the freebies. So it comes with this little focus card, intention, okay, and then I got these spotlight page flags and um, this is Palette Volume 1E, and then I got the um, mini dot stickers, or they're different shapes, so I got like all the shapes right here. It's the mini shape sticker set because I figured this would fit in my B6 easier, and even my Franklin. Um, this is the Verona shape color, so I haven't actually opened any of these, so I'm going to open them with you. So now this is, let's see, okay. So I just wanted to show you guys because I've talked about this in some of my other videos. This is a personal wide, so it will fit in my Franklin Covey Compact. And these are B6, so they fit in my Melody. I just want to show you guys the difference here. So I ordered a subscription kit for B6 Melody. So my plan is to cut off, it looks to be about a centimeter on the top and a centimeter, maybe like 0.8 of a centimeter on the right hand side. So that is what I would have to trim off if I wanted to use um, my B6 inserts in my Franklin Compact. Okay, so we're going to open up this dashboard. Again, this one is for my Compact. Okay, it says Fortune Favors the Bold. And now these ones are for my B6. So I got Year with Goals and Year Overview. So the year of goals here, this is what it looks like. So it's pretty, um, pretty basic actually. Um, it's got 
one month, three months, six months, one year. And then some basic room, like reflection room here. And that's it. So it's pretty, pretty basic. And then the year overview. And I've wanted these for a long time. So this, even though quarter one and two have passed, we're almost past because we're in June right now. These are going to allow me to break down my quarters from my year and then break it down into months. And so this is going to be for my business goals. And I really wanted something like planned out like this. So I am so happy that I got my hands on these. Okay, so that will go in my B6. And then I also got the half letter. So the only way you can get a half letter unpunched is if you get the subscription box. But I did get the punched version. So um, this is the same idea, but it's for my Franklin planner. Um, I did kind of make my own. And you guys would have seen if you'd watched my Franklin videos. But um, I wanted something that looked a bit more professional. The main reason why I got them is because they were on sale. So what my plan is, is to cover up the punched side here because this is obviously for discs I'm going to cover this up with like small washi tape so not like the large wide one but maybe like the five I don't know five mil would work um so I'm going to cover that up with whatever I can find I mean I've got lots of washi tape so that's not really an issue but it's something pretty basic and then I will do both sides and then I'm going to punch it for my Franklin classic and I will let you guys know how that works. Um, I think what I would like to do is if I went ahead and punched it first with my classic punch and then reinforced those holes with reinforcements and then covered that up with washi tape and then see if I could punch it. I don't know if that would work though because if the if this area is um, covered up it makes it too thick to get into the Franklin punch. So I think what I would do is punch it first, then cover it with washi. Yeah, I could still I could still do the reinforcements and then the washi because I have a single individual punch and it would take a little bit of time because you have to punch seven holes in each one. But my individual punch, I would only have to do like, like I could split this up in half and then be able to do it no problem. So um, my next Franklin video, guys, I will let you know how that goes. So that is it for my haul. Um, so it kind of got messed up. I just wanted to explain this to you a little bit. Um, I did have two separate cloth and paper hauls outside of the subscription boxes I ordered. So one of them got caught up with customs and it got um, kind of like, I guess they opened it to see what was inside. So that one is still in Montreal, but it should be here by Friday. So I'm filming this video on Tuesday. It should be here by Friday. And I was technically going to do this haul with that one, but I decided to just go ahead and do this with the Planners Anonymous stuff. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these products. Please give the video a like if you did. Please subscribe if you're new here. Click on the bell button and we shall see you next time. Bye friends.